Oh, whoa. Oh, they're totally Zelda. Oh, we're starting here. All right. <laughs> Welcome uh, back to Instant Replay. Oh. oh, we discovered that these guys, what what were the that, skeletons named in the Zelda? Stalfos. Stalfos. Yeah, they're totally Stalfos skeletons. From, from the second Zelda, they would jump like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> it's neat to see... I, I, just this game clearly takes inspiration from a lot of games, but there's that like borderline between stealing and homage, and I think this hits homage perfectly. Yeah, I'm always pleased I can with feel that. that. So last episode you brought up that the um, the style that we have, you know, not, we were looking for what sets us apart, and I was thinking about it between episodes. Whoa, the ground fell out from underneath you. You have a story about that. Yeah, let's tell it real quick. Hold, it's really short. Hold on. All right. I was thinking that that one of the things that does set us apart is that since we are brothers, we have a much longer list of stories to share about each other yeah. than like the game grunts, for example. Who are getting to know each other in some ways. Yeah, and that's a neat thing too. Like, but we need to you know look into that as far as as stories that we we could tell that go back far. The problem is, I was thinking that I was a terrible brother. <laughs> And I don't want you to tell the stories about me as a child. I don't know. I don't have. I mean, like, I I, th I think of it as just the way, like the way most brothers. I think it's kind of typical. Like, I was a jerk. I was a serious jerk. There's only one really, really like story that still makes me angry to this day. Okay. And it's the story of Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. And I think yeah, you remember that pretty clearly. Oh yeah. I can't remember what I did to ma ma make you mad. I did something stupid, you know, whatever. Something a kid does, right? Right. And uh, Nick got really mad at me, and I was playing Final Fantasy VII at the time. And uh, to to get back at me, oh god, uh, he uh, took a disc of Final Fantasy VII and put it in his pocket. He wasn't he just, he just wanted to keep it away from me for a while. Um, however, the disc broke in his pocket. Yeah, I sat down and it just snapped. cracked. Yeah, snapped. It was. And uh, I didn't even notice that it had snapped until it was like. All right, here, you can have it back. And I reach into my pocket, and there's just broken shards of Final Fantasy VII. Oops. I gotta keep doing know, that. Disc one or two, I don't remember. But Yeah. And the, that's the thing, right? Like, I feel like, in a way, there's something even worse about it being multiple discs yeah. and having one broken. And where, one useless. Where it's one game, it's like... I can't get it's, that right. It's gone forever. Yeah. yeah. But then... But then where it's... I can play half of this game. If I had the other disc, I could actually enjoy it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I well, I tried to make amends for that. Yeah. No. I mean, recently, I... it took it took it was one of those things that I felt like actually. Here you can you can see I wrote on my notes. Take a, a brief look at the last note on there. Broken FF seven. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Um, yeah, yeah, you definitely did. I mean, he bought me a copy of it on. Uh... On, uh, Some the, the Square, yeah. yeah, Square Enix or whatever, um, yeah. which is awesome. That, that's a it. It bugged me for a long time. The other one was the broken dinosaur that you had made out of oh, clay. Oh yeah. That I callously and shittily threw out of a moving vehicle. <laughs> like what the hell? That's just so. Oh man. Those are the two that stick with me as like my deep regrets of assholedom, of like I, I did Ass something. Yeah, <laughs> Texas asshole them. <laughs> uh, those are the two things I regret the most, I think, of, of times that I was a jerk to another human being. I've done some other equally terrible things to other human beings, but I don't actually regret those. Hmm. <laughs> it's, uh... I, I feel like the people who I did some other terrible things to deserve the terrible things I'd done to them. But those were things that I was just a hormonal teenager who acted far... Oh, so you get to see the bird before it comes after you, because it runs away and then Yeah, it it's on back. the thing. Okay. Something but yeah, I, I did those things without thinking about them, and uh, and they've they've long been a black mark in my history. But you, you can tell some stories, like about how that ground fell out <laughs> underneath you earlier in this level. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, it was, it's a short one. I was talking about... I was talking to Nick over the gap of boss fighting and about how I uh, I got a new I got a smartphone and it's really it's really sad we'll, we'll talk about how sad it is to have a smartphone later but uh, I, I, I I was the guy was trying to sell me you know insurance and all that stuff and I was like I don't need all that that's crazy which I think you should actually get um, I don't I've never like uh, oh. um, this, oh, that guy's oh, hard yeah 
There's the falling ground again to make this relevant. Right. And then you die. Yeah. So the ground falls out beneath you. And um, then you die. I had a, <laughs> back when I was in high school, I had a, uh, my first cell phone. I was fishing. Um, yeah, I was out on a fishing trip. And uh, we were standing on the bank. And the whole entire bank fell out from under the ground. And, uh, like, so I was standing on the ledge of the water. And I just fell deep into the water. Like, the ground sunk. Uh, I guess it was an overhang, so that's why it just collapsed off. But I had my phone in my pocket. And that was the only time. That is insane. Yeah. Um, it was a river, too. So it was a little current. It just but collapsed into a river. Yep. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've definitely seen like the ground give away at the river's edge and stuff like mm -hmm. that, but I've never it been was, on it. It was crazy how much of it there was, too. Uh, that was the second time I've back swung a raven to did death. Did you, like, I mean, did you fall into, like, muddy water and, like... It was muddy at the bottom. It was actually really hard to get out because yeah, my feet figured, sunk in really fast. Yeah, because that's got to be very loose ground in order for it to to fall away like that. Oh, that's pretty that scary. How, how terrified were you? Not very, though. Really? I, I, I'm not... I'm not a very easily scared person. Oh. Um, I I get scared in the moment for things, for real things, not for, you know. I get excited. Not movies or whatever. <laughs> oh. I, I can look back on those kinds of events with excitement, but I don't get excited during, I guess. Like, uh... I'm not a thrill seeker. I got to do rappelling off of a tower when I was in RTC. Oh, yeah. And, uh... Like one of those wood, like, watchtower type... Set up. Yeah, it was it was on an RTC camp, so yeah. they had like all, it all set up already. Yeah, and uh, it was my turn to go, but it started raining really bad, so and it's storming as well, uh, lightning. So uh, you know they were like, well, we'll just get you after the rain's done, um, and so they did. The thing was, there was a helicopter bar on the top of the tower that you're supposed to jump off of. Mm. It was soaking wet, and I was wearing these boots, com worn old combat boots that like were just sliding and slipping on the helicopter pad. So I'm supposed to turn around and jump and lean off backwards. And just you know fall uh, <laughs> except that like I'm like slipping as I'm trying to stand on this thing it was a uh, oh. sounds pretty intense it was intense yeah. but it was one of those things where that I could say I was both you know scared and excited with that because um, it had a certain like is it oh. certain death down there at the bottom or no because you've been down there there's just a lot of monsters but it also leads me to believe there's a chest down there probably whoa jumping spider Oh, and a spitting oh, spider, too. Oh, oh, oh. The game keeps getting better. <laughs> Keep getting more better, more better. So the uh, the things that I've done that I've regretted, or I'm sorry, that I don't really regret, it's hard. I think I regret that I was the one to do it, mm -hmm. but I had a roommate in college who I did the worst thing I think I've ever done to anyone. Ever. Um... To two? How do I phrase that statement? <laughs> I lost it somewhere halfway through. The worst thing I've ever done to another person, I almost don't want to tell about it all, but it's just one of those stories that like I might as well put out there. Um, because if, if people are <laughs> going to judge me, they might as well judge me now. <laughs> I don't know. Um, this guy was a jerk, alright? So to build up something first, to just kind of like... Soften the blow? Soften the blow, yeah, thank you. He was a total creep. Um, just like the first time that we were in the room together, um, he walks in, and I'm there with the people who are dropping me off at college who are two older friends, um, a guy and his wife. Uh, we've probably talked about them before, actually, on the show, Jack and his wife. And... Uh, he walks into the room and he's like, "Whoa, hot lady in the room in the in the men's dorm room." Nice. <laughs> it's just like, oh, that's that's a weird thing to say. I I admit they took more offense to it than I did because I was just like, I guess he was just trying to be funny. Like I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. But then later he would have absolutely no shame about bringing women back to the dorm room who were 100% drunk beyond good, reasonable choices and trying to have sex with them while I was in the room. Oh, man. And that is just all layers of creepy. Like, first of all, it would be bad enough if they were coherent and he was trying to have sex with them while I'm in the room. Like, don't do that. Just, you know, ask me to be somewhere else if you need to have some time. <laughs> but it would always be these girls who were just like, drunk to the point where they can barely stand and he's like hey hey 
you take off your pants? And she's like, no, I don't want to. Oh, and, God. And, and he'd be like, it's hot in here. Take off your pants. And, and gross, creepy stuff like that. I threw him out of the room multiple times, but I was going to say I, I didn't throw the girls out of the room, but I escorted girls out of the room many, many times. Wow. Because of that shit happening. It was disgusting. Uh, um, I guess while we're admitting terrible faults. Well, I haven't gotten to it yet. Okay, sure, go ahead. Should I? Do you have one that's quick, or do you want no, to No, I'll, I'll tell it afterwards. Okay. We're about to end the episode, too, though. Sure. So what I ended up doing with <laughs> planning help <laughs> from multiple friends, I was just complaining about him to friends, and someone who was very shy and very quiet was like, you know what you should do? <laughs> you should piss in his shampoo. Oh, my God. So tell me, you're, uh... <laughs> uh... Wow, I mean, like, you you went a full... Did he, I mean, did he ever, like, like say, something's weird about my shampoo, or...? He never said anything. He never seemed to notice. Oh, boy. It was a big piss. <laughs> it was like, I drank bottles and bottles of Coke, and then I, uh, I let loose, and, um... And I, I shook it up, and you, you couldn't really tell. That, yeah, wow, that's, uh... And he used it for, like, the rest of a semester. That's... And then we moved out, and I never heard from him again. I, there's a one. Somebody on our our dorm hall. No one liked him. He was kind of an asshole. I don't know. I, I didn't know him well enough to really judge him. I heard he was a really awful person. Someone jizzed on his N64 controller. Oh, gross! As like, uh, you know, gross. fuck you. But so you said, you said that this guy was trying to uh, copulate while you were in the dorm room. Yeah, which is creepy, right? And then also the way he was doing it is extra like. Predatory. The thing is. I had sex while my roommate was in the Ew. room in high school. Why would you do that in high school? I, in high school, college. <laughs> what uh, roommate did you have in high school? Right. Uh, it was it was my mom. She was in the Ew. Room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Ew. Next uh, no. time. No. Uh, but we're done. Sorry, Josh. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to hear any of that business. Anyways, well, you know what? You started it. No, I didn't. Not like that. I was saying how bad that was. Yeah, I know, but you were saying how bad it was that you pissed the dude's, the dude's thing. Anyways, I felt bad about it, but uh, as, as I should. Bad. Um, See, the problem with feeling mad about the urine in the shampoo is that I only feel bad it was me. This oh. guy deserved that and worse, but I wish I hadn't stooped so low. And I've never done anything that bad Oh gosh. any other time. And on that death... And on these horrible revelations. Man, what awful people. These, these instant replay Next time on Instant Replay Live, you have no respect for us. <laughs> really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.